What's up YouTube? Miko here and we're back with another video and I'm super, super excited about this one. This is gonna be episode one of the YouTube series that we are gonna call Inside the Mind of a BR Rookie. The whole idea of this YouTube series is to give you guys an insight on my point of view of how I like to approach games. If you're the kind of gamer that likes, that has fun with games by improving and finding ways to get better, I hope uh, you guys enjoy this content. That's exactly how I like to play games. The whole idea of this first episode is gonna be about Aim Labs. Aim Labs is a free trainer on Steam. Uh, sorry, console guys, I believe it's only available on PC, but it's an aim trainer. Um, if you are tra if you are transitioning from keyboard and mouse to controller or controller to keyboard and mouse, or you just want to improve your you know your precision, uh, Aim Labs is a great tool to use. I'm going to show you guys how to download it, and then we're going to get into four tasks today: uh, grid shot, six shot, spider shot, and motion track. Those are the four tasks we're going to focus on today. For this one, what you're going to see is some clips of me playing the Aim Labs tr tasks side by side with clips uh, of me playing Warzone that might translate so you guys can kind of see how it will impact your Warzone game. A lot of the gameplay uh, is captured live when I'm on Twitch. The link will be below. Uh, right now we're streaming a consistent uh, three days a week, trying to add a consistent fourth. I throw in a fourth every now and again, but if you guys follow on Twitch and subscribe here on the YouTube, it'll make it a lot easier for me. I've been having so much fun creating content for you guys. I hope you really enjoy it. Cue the intro, let's get it. So I switch to the same way So much of the he say, she say these days Nobody give a fuck about what these states Better sell my album on eBay Free wave, see things I don't really need dates My audio peaking Cause I got that free base Beats take relay oh, What no I gotta way. repay Nene, oh shit Better than a new shit Who this? My guy, venomous movements This my drink in the dead eye All right, guys, uh, first things first, I'm gonna show you how to download um, Steam if you don't have it, and then uh, and then how to get on Steam and download Aim Labs. Um, if you already have Aim Labs slash Steam, then I'll go ahead and uh, post some timestamps below, either in the description or pin comment or something, you can just skip this part. Um, but really quick, op open up a browser. Um, honestly, easiest way, uh, Steam download. This guy right here, go to download, and then install Steam. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna press anything here. Um, but click that, it takes a couple minutes to download, easy peasy. Uh, when Steam pops up, you're gonna open it, it's gonna look like this. Search the store, Aim Lab, this first one. And then I'm pretty sure down here, um, mine already says, mine says in, uh, in library, but I'm pretty sure down here it'll say um, download for you, okay? And then hit play now and it'll launch. So when you first fire up Aim Labs, it's gonna take you through the setup, okay? The cool thing is there's there's a, a sensitivity calculator. Between each game, there's there's different sensitivities, there's different, you know, the axes that they use, um, the different acceleration. It's all, all, all games are, are built with a different engine. And the way that your mouse or controller reacts to that engine is different with every single game. So what's cool here is they have a calculator. So no matter what game you play, you can calculate, you can figure out what your sensitivity should be. So if you're on mouse, for example, if you're on 400 DPI, 800 DPI, whatever the case is, that's gonna be the same. So I'm on 800 DPI. Um, I'm gonna click Modern Warfare. And then my in-game sense is five. I think you can type here. Yeah, there we go, five, boom. My field of view is at 120, so I'm gonna max that out. ADS profile, uh, I think on my main account, I just did assault rifles. And then my ADS sensitivity is 0.9. Monitor coefficient is 1.3. Independent ADS FOV. There's two different uh, there's two different ADS styles in modern in, in Warzone. There's uh, independent, and then there's uh, relative. Um, independent is what is is default, and it's what's on console as well. Basically, every time you ADS, the field of view shrinks. So the the pros to this are that your target appears bigger and it's a lot easier to focus on uh, any particular body part. A lot of people will play on affected. Your, your field of view stays fairly wide, it only zooms in a little bit. Target's smaller, but you have a lot more, a lot more view. Uh, I play on affected, so I'm not gonna check this. If you prefer independent, then, then go ahead and click here. Um, y axis multiplier, that's just gonna stay at, at, uh, at one. You don't wanna mess with that. ADS keybind toggle. Oh, I believe what they're saying is uh, if, if you hold to ADS or if you toggle the ADS, I don't know who toggles, but if you do, boom. Full screen windowed for this particular type, the, the lowest uh, input lag is gonna be uh, full screen exclusive, but uh, it, it's hardly a difference. 
Uh, the resolution is 1920 by 1080 and 165 hertz because that's what my monitor can uh, can handle. Display stretching ratio, we don't want that. We have a full size monitor, HE monitor, so no problem there. Uh, quality, that depends on your rig. If you have a good rig, then you know make it make it pretty. If you want the fastest and the most responsive, um, then go ahead and, and, and hit fastest. I keep it on fastest just because I don't want any input lag. I want, you know, I don't really care that these, you know, blob guys look good. Um, I, I just want to be able to have the, have the game look smooth. Setup is complete. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip this. This is cool though, because it gives you an idea of, of, uh, how aim labs works and stuff. I'm going to skip this. You don't need to do it. Um, I've already done it. So it's all good. Boom. There we go. And now you're here, uh, up here, you're going to have different tabs. Um, training, custom uh, videos, which is pretty cool. All these people are sponsored by uh, by Aim Labs. Um, huge fan of Ron Rambo Kim. Huge fan of Lulu. Uh, these guys are a lot of fun, and uh, it, good resource of of their perspective as professionals and uh, it, easy ways to implement in your game too, which is kind of cool. Um, once you get scores, it'll all pop up on here. Uh, fil different filters, the different tasks, the different modes within the task, which we'll talk about. There's different maps too. Um, events. Uh, I don't pay too much attention to this, but this is probably kind of probably take some challenges. And then in game store, you can buy skins and stuff. All right. So typically for what what I'm doing is I'll just go down here, hit tasks, and then here you're going to see all these all these preset tasks and and these categories. So some some of the same tasks have different modes, and it's just the way that the orbs and stuff respond. So speed, uh, it won't give you much time to hit it, so it'll go on to the next orb as quickly as possible, or uh, quicker. Ultimate uh, or precision, the orbs get smaller as you go along. Anyways, as you guys mess with it, you'll learn more about it. It's pretty cool. The first task uh, we're gonna showcase is grid shot. Uh, this one doesn't really translate so much in game, but the reason why I like it is because it's so fast and it kind of forces your your hands and your fingers as you're gripping the mouse to be really loose and really fluid. Um, so it's a great warm up for your fingers, it's a great warm up for your dexterity, and it's a good warm up for your eyes. So this is a good one to do. Um, just kind of, I, I usually just crank some music and I'm and I'm kind of vibing um, as I'm as I'm playing Grid Shot. Um, we won't have any Warzone clips for this one, but it's a great one to get acclimated. Uh, make sure you focus on on precision, not so much on speed at first, Ex especially if you're new uh, a keyboard mouse. Experiment with grips. Um, I might do a, a video on grips. I'm not super versed in all the different grip types, nor have I tried all of them, so I don't know how well uh, uh, qualified I am to talk about that. But I kind of use like a half claw, uh, where I, I do have my wrist as an anchor, but I keep it really loose, and then I have kind of like a half claw grip, as you can see. So like very little of my palm is touching the uh, oops, is touching the mouse but my wrist is always down. So that way I can maneuver up and down, left and right in circles, right? But if I'm tracking, I can, you know, plant my wrist and track with my and, and track with my wrist like this. It's like that, right? So when I'm playing grid shot, my hand looks a lot like this. I'm kind of moving everywhere, right? It gives me the most precision. It gives me the most flexibility. Um, it takes a lot of training and dexterity, but it's kind of, I kind of have like a hybrid grip. Um, some people do only fingertip, some people do palm. Next one is going to be six shot. The reason why I like this one is it forces you to be precise. Um, it 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 trains your flick precision, and also what's super important and, and a, one of the biggest uh, underrated parts of aiming is micro corrections. The way six shot works is there's six small orbs that spawn and you just click them one at a time. What people tend to forget is that this is all about precision, not about speed, especially at first. So get used to your mouse grip, make sure that you're over the orb before you click, move to the next one, click, move to the next one. A little bit of a trick that I found with this is as you're aiming in on one orb, you should in your head already know what orb you're gonna go to next. So click the orb and then immediately flick as fast as you can to the other orb. Maybe you hit it spot on and then you pull the trigger or maybe you're a little bit off. Use your dexterity to hit the micro correction and then, and then hit it. Uh, this helps a lot in Warzone uh, when you are trying to flick onto somebody, like if you're turning on somebody or as you're sniping is a good example. Uh, maybe you, you ADS and then you're, you know, a couple pixels off to the right, micro correction with your mouse. Now you have them in the head. The faster you can do that, the better you're gonna get at it. 
Um, the second part of why I like six shot, especially when it comes to uh, predicting the next orb, is if you're trying to spray transfer in Warzone, so if you round a corner and you see two people and you wanna just chow them, um, knowing that the first guy you're gonna shoot is here and the next guy you're gonna shoot is here, that's the same thing as predicting. I'll show a couple clips on here as well. As you can see in these clips, uh, there's a couple people in front of me. I I spray one and I and I just immediately transfer and spray spray onto the next one. Uh, very similar motions uh, when it comes to the aim labs tasks in translation to Warzone. Next one is spider shot. Um, this one I love. I think it's like aiming 101. Th this is it. And the main reason why is because not only react and flick, react and flick, react and flick, but uh, what you do is you start on the center orb and then an orb to the left, right, up, down will spawn. And then once you hit that orb, it'll go back to the center every single time. So the reason why this is important is because you have to know where center screen is and you have to get good at centering your reticle. You're gonna hear that a lot whenever you watch a lot of the pros uh, play any game. They talk about centering, centering, centering. And basically what centering is, is being cautious of where your reticle is aimed. If you ever watch your gameplay or next time you play and maybe you're running around, like stop and think, where am I looking right now? A lot of the time, myself included, I'm looking at the ground, I'm looking in the air, but your your reticle should be centered where you think the next opponent or enemy will be coming from, or at least a general uh, a spot of, of where you should be aware and where you should be looking. So the reason why this is so important is it trains you to be cautious of where center, uh, center screen is for your reticle. And then the way it translates to Warzone, obviously the flicks are quite obvious if uh, you're aiming at one way um, like in, uh, I'll show a clip right here where I'm rounding a corner and where I think he was, I was a little bit off. So I flick over to his head and then, and then I spray and then, and then he's dead. Um, I'll show some other clips as well, showcasing a very similar thing. Se uh, be cautious of where you center. You're not always going to be right. So make sure you know where you are, you flick over and then, and then you get back. Um, great, great aiming 101. Uh, tasks that I feel like whether you're a beginner like myself or you're super advanced, I feel like this task is always going to be important. Next one is motion track. Uh, motion track is cool, uh, especially for Warzone because of the high health and armor levels. It's not like it's uh, like CSGO or Val where it's uh, where it's a precision shot and there isn't too much tracking on the actual enemy. With Warzone, as you know, they have 250 health points, especially if they're full armor, you'll have to keep the reticle on them accurately in order to minimize the, the, the time to kill and increasing your efficiency um, in, in the war zone. Um, motion track is cool. The way it works is the same thing. So it centers and then a orb will spawn left, right, up, down, and then it'll be moving left, right, up, down into certain direction. Center, you flick and then you track and then you recenter. Flick, track, recenter. This one, I'm not that good at and I'm really trying to get better at it because it's super important for Warzone. If you want to really make it Warzone specific, you could ADS if you want. Um, however, I typically don't. I, I feel like if I can learn how to accurately track without ADSing, a tracking with ADS is, is a lot easier. Um, because obviously when you're not ADSing, your mouse is moving faster. So if you can make those micro movements with and you can track without it, it'll be even better. Not to mention your like hip fire tracking and things like that. Um, I'll show you a couple of clips in Warzone as well, uh, where maybe I'm shooting a guy out of the air, or maybe someone's running across something or, or shooting some guy out of a car. All really obvious, but also all really good examples of, of how you could be using Aim Labs to translate into Warzone. And there it is, episode one of uh, Inside the Mind of a BR Rookie. Hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Um, hope you guys uh, find a lot of production out of Aim Labs. It's a really fun tool to use and it's a good way to train. It's super easy to get caught up in all the different tasks because they all look so cool, but do your very best to stay disciplined, focus on a few of them, get better, and then move on to the next group of them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like. That'd be much appreciated. Uh, first goal of the YouTube channel is 100 subscribers. If I haven't mentioned that already, hit subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. 